she waiting a time to do music when you can't even buy Tim Horton with your music? <laughs> what gives you the inspiration to continue doing what you're doing? Right. Um, I actually started singing on my dad's trip when I was younger, and uh, I worked on a project with my brother um, some years back. And then when I finished university, I just decided, you know, I'm just going to work. I'm just mm -hmm. going to be, you know, a professional career person and work. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when there's something inside you that inspires you, that moves you, mm -hmm. um, you can't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And that thing is called destiny. Oh, yes. And that was part of the reason I wrote that acapella song that you played earlier. Mm -hmm. When there's destiny inside of you, you have no choice but to try your best to fulfill it. Right. And so while trying to just be professional and you know be career oriented and all that, I, I there was something missing. Mm -hmm. And so I knew that I needed to go back and go back to my first love. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm doing it. And for me, Music is not just about singing. It's a call to action, mm -hmm. to lift up, to inspire, to yes. heal, to embedder the lives of other people. Mm -hmm. So that's what moves me, that's what motivates me. Wow. That you're hearing it live on CHLY 105.5. Now, I've always said that Africans, whatever we do, we have to be critical, proactive, mm -hmm. and advocate. Mm -hmm. It's your lyrics and advocate social justice base as we continue. Because in God, he is advocacy. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was an advocate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Prophet Muhammad was an advocate. Oh, yeah, so all these pastors who don't talk about advocacy, they are sleeping. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So what's your take on that and uh, I I your lyrics? Okay. Uh, yes. My lyrics are really to inspire and uplift people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the advocacy part of it comes from. I love that. And, um, you know, when people are living day to day and they're struggling with things like addiction, mm -hmm. they're struggling with things like health issues, mm -hmm. um, whether it's financial... Did you issues. say addiction? addiction? Yes, addictions, yeah. yes. Let's come to Toronto. Mm -hmm. You've been following the news. Yes. <laughs> the crack of the cracks. Mm -hmm. right. uh, is there addiction there? You know what I'm talking the French, or you don't want to politicize in that yeah, politics? Yeah, I'll probably not speak to that. Okay, okay. <laughs> but okay, but we can speak about right. the crack of the cracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Admitting is one thing, but that's not the only thing. Right. There was that racial insult that is not really making the news. Mm -hmm. But we're not surprised. Mm -hmm. Because the Toronto Stars, is, uh, all these medias are one way. As long as they say, oh, man, don't go back into use their racism thing. So let's talk about your music. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to join me, brother? Like, look, don't let me eat the mic. No, 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 that's okay, that's no, okay. No, because no, if you no, stand no. and look at me, I'll eat the mic. No, 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 no that's, <laughs> okay, that's okay, that's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Or you fine. want to sing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm sure if I were to sing right now, the whole place would go up in flames. Toronto, <laughs> Toronto will bring you only positive fire. Yeah. 